All right, so now let's take a look at how we can be able to send mutation inside of our React project. So here on our left, you can see we have our application. And here you can see we have a section where we display a list of feeds, which is this component right here. And then we also have another component which will create a new feed, which will send a mutation to our graphical server. And we can be able to look into our create feed component. And you can see here that we first have our mutation. Basically, we're going to pass the description and the URL parameter, and then it will pass to our mutation. And this will basically create a new post and it will return the ID URL description as a result. And we can be able to test this out inside of our playground. You can see if we were to specify the URL, the description, we're, we're looking to get the ID URL description and post it by, we can be able to get this data. And for post anonymous, uh, we basically don't have to verify the user to be able to add a new link or add a new um, feed inside of our database. And then we can be able to pass the mutation to our use mutation hook. And this will give us a tuple, which in this case have a create feed function, which we can be able to call to create, to trigger the feed creation. And then this will also give us some data like data loading and error for the mutation that we're trying to send. And inside of a component, if the mutation is loading, then we're going to display loading. Otherwise, we're going to display the form. So here you can see we have the form on submit, uh, which will trigger the create feed and we're going to pass the variables. So we're going to pass the description and the URL for the variables that we define here inside of our GraphQL mutation. And then below that, you can see we have two inputs. So input one for the description, input two for the URL, and then we have the button, which is a type submit. And to test it out, you can see that we're passing the description and the URL, and we're going to submit this. And here you can see, if I were to go to the network tab, we can be able to see that we have sent a create feed, and we can see that this is the payload for the variables and the query. And this is the response that we're getting back. And to be able to see this on our page, we just refresh. You can see that we have a new item added here inside of our page. So at this moment, if we were to add a new feed inside of our application, we will have to refresh our page to see the new item appear on our page. So one way we can solve this problem is inside of the use mutation hook, inside of the created feed component, we can be able to specify the refresh queries. Uh, for the refresh queries, it takes a list of queries and we can be able to specify the query for the get feed, or we can specify multiple queries or the name of the query that we want to refetch. And to test it out, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a new item. And if we were to submit, you can see that it sent a refetch query, which will update our cache and display our result. So far, we know that once we send a mutation to our GraphQL server, we can also be able to send a follow-up query to our server and be able to fetch the new data and re-render our web application. The other way we can be able to solve this is once we send a mutation, we can also be able to take the data that we sent to our server and be able to update it inside of our cache. So here on our left, you can see that this is the example. We have a update function inside of mutation, and this update function takes a cache as well as the data that we sent. Um, and inside of the update function, we first read what we have inside of our cache. Once we get our data, we're going to write the query. We're going to save the data that we have. So first, we're going to specify this is the query that we're going to write. And this is the data for this query. And you can see that we append the new data at the end of links. And to demonstrate this, um, in this case, you can see that we have our list of links. And then if I were to add one more item, you can see that it basically updates right away. So you can see that the data is updated right away onto our page.